Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We're here at the uh, lower section of Pottery Road, and this is a spot that's usually prone to flooding. This parking lot, I mean, it floods when there's like three sprinkles that come through, but today it's running especially high. Uh, a lot of this water that sits in sort of this catch basin area is draining off into this river here. One thing I do want to note, though, if you come across any situations like this where there is that standing water, don't drive through it. You don't know how deep it is, and if the water's moving, your car could easily float away. But uh, here we're keeping an eye on some of these trails here where it says don't go on the trails when they're muddy. Uh, today is a day where they are fairly muddy. But also, it's usually easy to get across this as it's just sort of a trickle coming through here, already running uh, high and fast because we have a lot of rain over the area now and a lot more on the way as we head into the rest of the uh, week and into the weekend. A lot of that moisture is coming in from the south. You can see some of the heavier rain is still setting up uh, down in toward the Windsor area. A couple of waves of those yellows showing up on the radar. I want to show you this temperature map because you almost get your hopes up, but I don't want to crush your spirits here because it, we're not going to get into that warmer air that's out there. We're into a pattern where the jet stream is undulating quite a bit north and south, and we're going to stay into this cool pocket of air. And there's a potential of staying into a cooler pattern all the way through basically the uh, first two thirds of this month. It'll keep us fairly active as well as this rain continues to fall throughout the overnight uh, into the late evening tomorrow. Then it turns over to scattered showers as we head into the weekend as this low continues to track toward the north. So, four o'clock is when we start to break it up over to showers, on and off wet weather coming through. A couple of those pockets could be a little heavier at times, but there is still the potential for some localized flooding and those high lake levels and some strong east winds during the night tonight, during the day tomorrow, uh, and then even a northeast wind as we get into the weekend. So uh, that's going to impact areas on the western side of Lake Ontario from Oakville all the way down to about Grimsby or Stony Creek. That's where I'm expecting the waves to be at their highest and some uh, lake level erosion to continue there and debris getting pushed up and all of the sort. On the future cast model, we continue with the rain throughout the overnight into the morning. Tomorrow it picks up in intensity a little bit. We'll continue to see it until the evening and then it breaks up into showers. And then notice how the on and off wet weather holds on through the day on Saturday. But even if it's not raining here, it's draining into the Great Lakes, which is going to contribute to the high lake levels. Oh, that's also snow, by the way, that you're seeing on the future cast model. Some wet snow possible early in the morning on Sunday. Uh, definitely not out of the question, even near the shores of Lake Ontario. Let me show you the projected rainfall totals all the way from Sunday into 6 a.m. This model's a little high. I still think 40 to 70 is a good number here for the GTA. This has 60 to 80, so uh, go a little closer to that 40 to 70 range, I think, is what we're going to end up working off of. Temperatures aren't going to change a whole lot. Those winds are going to be out of the east up to 45 kilometers per hour. And then as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, 8 degrees, the high temperature, still dealing with that bit of a breeze. We'll see temperatures that'll be near 8 and 7, then 6 on Sunday with that wet snow in the morning, turning back over to scattered rain showers, a frost risk coming our way on Monday. Temperatures will moderate a little bit Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but we should be near uh, about 17 to 18 degrees by this time uh, next week for the average high temperature. So it will be running a bit on the cool side. And I think the general pattern is it is going to be cool, but the next 48 hours across the GTA watching the waterways is what we're going to be doing.